North Korean soldiers will face the wrath of kamikaze drones for the first time during the war in Ukraine, Eurasian Times reports. Russian soldiers are already well acquainted with the sound of drone rotors, which often signals the danger of an attack. But for North Korean troops recently sent to the front, encountering Ukrainian drones could come as a real shock. North Korea's intention to give its soldiers combat experience could result in significant losses. Once on the Ukrainian-Russian front, the DPRK recruits will encounter Ukrainian attack and reconnaissance drones, which even Russian units have gradually become accustomed to. Symbolically, the Soviet Union once supported North Korea in the Korean War, providing it with weapons and equipment. Now, 70 years later, the situation has changed. About 3,000 North Korean soldiers have arrived in Russia since October. Their time on the front lines is expected to be an opportunity to test new equipment and gain invaluable combat experience. According to Major General Mandeep Singh, the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia is part of an agreement reached between the leaders of both countries in June 2024. It is worth understanding that the DPRK still uses outdated weapons, mostly of Soviet origin, and has minimal experience in conventional armed conflict. Most of its 1.3 million troops are concentrated on guarding the border with South Korea and these forces have limited training for combat operations as part of other armies. The North Korean units will likely be used to guard rear facilities, replacing Russian units at border positions. This will allow Russia to transfer more of its troops to the front lines, which is especially important given NATO's support for Ukrainian forces. CNN reports that some North Korean soldiers are already in Ukraine. Their numbers are expected to grow. At the same time, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller announced a meeting of US and South Korean diplomats and military officials to discuss troop deployments and expanding relations between Moscow and Pyongyang. The publication's sources reported that a significant portion of the deployed troops are special forces. The DPRK government considers them stronger than the Russians and also wants them to gain combat experience in a real war. Officials believe that at least some of the soldiers will desert almost immediately after arriving on the battlefield. The language barrier will also be a problem for them. Another footage has been released, showing the explosions that occurred following the Ukrainian army's missile attack on the occupied city of Luhansk on October 29th. As can be seen from the footage shared by local residents, two explosions took place in the area. One of them is said to be at a gas station. It should be noted that an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse as a result of the Ukrainian missile strike on the area. Residents who shot the footage said those in the area fled after the first explosion. <laughs> Охренеть, вот эта красота была, блядь. Чё горит? Чё они бегут куда? Я с пол, я и окна повылетали нахуй на все. Вы повылетали окна? Да, я с пол прилетели, блядь. Но с... Повылетала она там. Нихуя. Все уходят, смотри, все уезжают. Вон летит аж, свои куски летят. Вон бегут все люди. Еще разок въебало.
пиздец. Твою мать. Себе. Ага. Да, машине. Машину забирайте. Убирайте тачки. Охренеть. Охуеть. Chechnya's leader Ramzan Kadyrov has said his fighters will avenge the drone attack targeting the Russian Special Forces University named after Vladimir Putin in Chechnya's Gudurms town. Kadyrov said the reason the university was attacked is that it produced thousands of special forces that played key role in the war. The attack that was launched on Tuesday morning caused fire on the roof of the building on the territory of the university. Kadyrov said there were no casualties during the attack and that the fire was extinguished. У нас дом были дом на свои дом посты дом и почему случилось это разбирается следствие дом будет ясно дана картина виновный будет наказан будем стараться пред такого не случилось дома. Рамзан Ахмадович, а почему, на ваш взгляд, именно российский университет спецназа для атаки они выбрали? Ну, на самом деле, да, он, российский да, университет спецназа да, он отправил да, он, около 50 тысяч да, бойцов да, он, на войну, и они эти ребята забрали да, он, Мариуполь, Лисичанс, Попасный, да, он, они забрали, да, он, да, они остановили курс да, он, и эти ребята пока, показывали да, он, конкретные да, он, на что они способны да, он, и а, так да, подавно поставить там с ними рядом да, он, а, таких сил у этих шайтанов нету поэтому вот, они знают, что это кузница кадров военных, и для, для того, чтобы напугать нас, да, он, они да, он, ну, так, по пощупали нас. Да. Александр Матвич, будет ли какая-то ответная особая мера на атаку? Обязательно, да. Чеченец своего всегда возвращает домой, да. Они нас покусили, мы их, да. Уничтожим дом, да, покажем да, в ближайшем будущем дом да, да, такое возмездие, что даже им не снизится.